when we're merging our branches or pushing code, Git does a good job of handling all those changes automatically, but occasionally it'll run into an issue where it doesn't know exactly what it's supposed to do or how it should handle that update. This is called a merge conflict. At first it can seem a little scary, but have no fear. Today we're actually going to talk about how to resolve those conflicts. If you're new to the Self Teach Me channel, my name is Amy Dutton. I'm a web designer and developer. If you're looking at getting into the space, sometimes it's hard to know where to go, what resources to trust. I want to help you level up and get to where you want to be. If this sounds interesting to you, hit the subscribe button below. Git is a big part of development because it's one way that developers work together. If you're not sure what Git is, why you would want to use it, how to use it, how to get it installed on your computer, check out some of the other videos in my series, link in the card above. Alrighty, ready? Merge conflicts. Like I mentioned earlier, Git does a good job of merging our code automatically, but occasionally you'll run into an issue where it doesn't know what to do or how to handle that file change. This usually happens when two people change the same line of code, or if someone deletes a line of code and someone else changes that same line, Git doesn't know which is the right version, and so it'll flag that file as having a conflict, and before you can make any more changes, you'll have to resolve that issue. Something worth noting is that a merge conflict can only happen on your local machine, not on the server. So even though you might have to pause to resolve the issue, nobody else will since it's on your computer. Let's take a look at some actual code. This is my index.html file, plain Jane. We're gonna pretend like we have two different people making two different changes. Hi, looks like we wanna add a contact link to the website. Well, since the contact page isn't ready yet, let's just add a link to an email address instead. Within the terminal, I'm gonna type git checkout dash b for branch add an email address. Okay, so now within VS Code, in this main tag, I'm going to add a link. Perfect, and let's just copy and paste that email address and give that a save. Okay, let's commit it. So git add, git commit, and we'll add a message, added an email address. Just want to point out that Amy number one's code has not been merged into master. Ah, the contact page is finished. Let's add a link to the contact page. Uh, so I'm on, I'm on my master branch here. Let's create a new branch. Git checkout dash B for create a new branch, add website link. Okay, so let's go over to VS Code. And in my main tag, let's add a link to the contact page. Contact me. Okay, let's commit this. So git add, git commit, added a link to the contact page. I'm back now, I'm gonna add our email address change back into our master branch. So in the terminal, I'm gonna type git checkout master I'm gonna type git merge add email address. No problems, sweet. Now let's merge in our website link. So I'm gonna type git merge add website link. We hit our merge conflict. This is because we changed the same line of code in two different branches. Before you start to panic, remember you can always go back to the way that things were. Don't worry about breaking things. Within the terminal, you just need to type git merge dash dash abort, but we can handle this. So I'm going to remove that. Our message here tells us that there's an issue with index.html. So we know which file has a problem. If we look in VS code, you can see there's a letter C for conflict next to the file name. And if we look at the actual file, you can see it has some weird stuff here with these less than signs head equals and this greater than. Everything between the less than and equals is what was on our master branch. Everything between the equals and this greater than was on our add website link branch. I'm gonna pull this up in a different application that'll help us visualize what's going on here. This is Kaleidoscope. I'll include a link in the description below. Sometimes I like to use it because it integrates well with Tower. So the left pane here shows us what's on our master branch. The right pane shows us what's on our add website link 
branch, so the stuff that we're trying to merge in. The center pane will show us the final file we create. Kaleidoscope will tell you at the bottom right corner how many conflicts you have, so we have one of one. If you have more than one, you can use these arrows to cycle through all of the conflicts. Then there's these two buttons down here that show you can either pull the code from master into your final file, or you can use the code from our new branch. So you can just pick which branch you wanna use the code from. Within this program, once you have everything resolved, you can just hit save. I also wanna show you how to do this in VS Code. So I'm gonna go back to VS Code. You can see within VS Code, there are some quick links here. I can accept the current change, I can accept the incoming change, I can accept both changes, or I can compare the changes. If I hit compare changes, Let's hide this side panel here. It will take you to a view that looks a little bit more like Kaleidoscope. You can tell from the title on this tab that the current changes are on the left and the incoming changes are on the right. Unfortunately, you have to close that view in order to resolve the issue. I could click on accept incoming changes, but sometimes it's not as cut and dry as one branch or the other. Sometimes you'll need pieces from both branches. One thing that I like to do is just to remove these extra characters and to get this file looking exactly the way that I want the final file to look. I'm gonna hit save and go back to the terminal. You have to add a commit to resolve these changes. So I'm gonna type git add, git commit, resolved merge conflict. Hit enter, awesome. I'm gonna pull this up in tower because I want you to see a visualization of the history. So if I click on the master branch, you can see we have our initial commit, then I merged in our email address, and then we had another branch with our contact page. Then this commit here at the top commemorates our merge conflict and its resolution. We did it though. Done, 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 done. Done. All the code that I use is post on GitHub. Feel free to download it, modify it, use it, whatever you need. Have at it. If you like this video and want to see more videos on web design and development, hit the subscribe button below. Hit the bell icon if you want to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Until then, keep coding.